Before I get into my video, I really needed to say something. My brothers, y'all got to get out of y'all feelings. I'm getting more video flags and channel flags and, you know, hateful messages and dislikes from men than I am from women. And the crazy thing is that I created this channel to help the men. I am not against you, but you, you want to hear something that just isn't true. And you have all of these people online repeating the same lies to you to the point where you don't want to hear anything else. So what I'm going to do, I challenge you this. Don't be mad at me behind what I say. Just hear me out and go about your business. Continue to follow the lead of everybody else. Don't worry about what I say. Just listen to it so it's in the back of your mind. But go on and do what they tell you to do. Follow the instructions of these other channels. And in about five years, let me know how that's working out for you. So without further ado, I'm going to get into the video. As you know, my real name is actually Kazimi Sama Sadula. I am Brother Kush, a.k.a. The Black Alpha. Let's roll with this one here. Salam. You know that men who marry attractive women tend to stay married longer and have much happier relationships. Which is a no-brainer. Because you got a woman that you like looking at. And not only that, she sees you looking at her. She gets constant attention from you. You like the way she looks, she likes the way you look at her. So you don't mind her putting on something sexy to go out that night. Because you want to see her in something sexy and you ain't tripping on how many other dudes see it. You ain't tripping on that. You want to look at your girl in that dress and be like, mm, mm, mm. All them jeans and be like, mm, mm, mm. You want to look at her like that. You don't care how many other men see that. You don't give a care about how many other men look at it and be like, oh, man. I, I hope she go to the bathroom or something so I can try to creep over. You ain't worrying about that. Your wife ain't going nowhere, man. You know what I'm saying? You got that on click clack, bro. You ain't worrying about that. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, the men that marry attractive women do have happier marriages and they do stay married longer. Everything I'm about to say, you already know it to be true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. Even in the oldest of times, every woman expressed femininity in different levels, just as every man expressed masculinity in different levels. Not every man is like me. You got some very strong men that are mild men. That's something y'all don't know either. Y'all think all gangsters are like loud mouths, none. You got some gangsters that don't say three words, man. <laughs> three words in 12 hours, you know what I'm saying? And, but, but, but they were handling their business. So, and, and you got some squares, you got some corporate type dudes that got a gangster mentality underneath all that. Underneath that suit, underneath that tie, he's a thug. You know what I'm saying? He pull that stuff off and get the scrap and get the bang. Whatever he gotta do at the moment, he can rise to the occasion because his masculinity is in there. So not every man expresses masculinity the same and not every woman expresses femininity the same. So thinking that you're gonna define what femininity is for these women today, you are crazy. You are running your head into a wall over and over and over again, expecting a different result. What you gotta do is go out there and find the woman for you. And that's what this video is really about. I let in with that, but really what I wanna talk about is the hot wife thing. There was a study recently published under personality and, psycho and social psycho psychology, right? That's personality and social psychology. And they were saying that the men with like more attractive wives tend to have happier marriages and they last a lot longer if they ever break up. And they said that the women that usually get these men, they are the same way. They pick men based on the same criteria. They call these people maximizers. Now the definition of a maximizer, maximizers according to these people are Men and women who take time to seek out the optimal solution in every life choice they face. 
they are more likely to opt for the ultimate best in everything instead of selling it. Now, is this not what I've been saying on this channel? Is this not what I've been saying on the channel? That you got to let the process play out. That's what I mean by maximizing. You let the process play out and you will get the best woman for you if you let the process play out. Okay, brother Kush, so what is the process? The process is first to understand that that woman is a human being and not property. She is not a possession. Deal with her as an individual human being that you have no power, authority, or rule over because you don't. Deal with her like that first. And while you're dealing with her, you deal 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 with her, you get your eight up, nine, ten up, twelve, thirteen up. You date as many women as you can meet. And you let the process play out. You don't go on expensive dates with none of them. You don't wine and dine none of them. When you get together, you do the sorts of things that are basically free. When I used to ha ha have all the women around me, we would go to Audubon Park, City Park, Armstrong Park, the River Walk. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we just go window shop, walk through a mall, not buying nothing. I might buy a lot of ice cream or something like that. Our snowballs are real popular in New Orleans. We go sit on the River Walk, eat a snowball. You know what I'm saying? We did simple things. And we allowed ourselves to actually get to know each other. You can't get to know no chick if every time y'all together, y'all stuffing y'all face for food. Every time y'all get together, she, you at a restaurant with it, like that chick talking about, you know, she ain't going to no coffee shop, no man, this dude got, he got upset about it, you know. And I agree with the chick, I don't know why the dude got mad. I mean, look, if she feel like she's too good to sit at the coffee shop with me and get to know me, I don't want to talk to her. I be like, well, cool, boo. I don't care, you know what I'm saying? I mean, go find your dude that's gonna spend money on you like that, cause I ain't gonna do it. But, and, and I mean, obviously nobody else is doing it, you're not married, I'm, I'm not gonna do it. And you can't afford to do it when you're dating all those women anyway. I mean, I was a baller, I had money. I could afford to do it, but I didn't do it. It just wasn't my way. I, cause I like to do simple things and actually talk to the women. I actually like the, 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 the I, I like the company of the women. I didn't want to sit down and be stuffing my face with food and all that stuff. Nah, no, I didn't want to do that. Besides, I eat differently, you know what I'm saying? I know I, I got this weight on me. I keep, you know, I said it before, I, don't, I can't explain the weight gain, you know what I'm saying? Just my hormone shifted, you know what I'm saying? Real bad. I eat very good, to be honest, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people you meet, especially, you know, black women, they don't eat good. Really and truly, just be a, a waste of time, you know? I made that mistake one time. I actually, you know, I was going to eat. And I invited a very, very beautiful, attractive sister to come eat with me. Uh, and it was a five-star Indian restaurant in New Orleans, very expensive food. And uh, she embarrassed me in there. You know what I'm saying? She had like the food was from, from Mars or something. You know what I'm saying? It was just food, you know what I mean? And I said, never again will I do that. And the crazy thing is, I took all my kids to that same restaurant and they grubbed out. I took my daddy to that restaurant. He grubbed out. So but this chick embarrassed me. I took her to that restaurant. She straight up a very beautiful sister. Gorgeous, dime piece in the hand. But the point is, you have to take your time and let the process play out. Get to know these women. The next stage of the process, as, as things get a, a, little, a little more serious, right? Then you start doing more things with her. You know what I'm saying? Now you might start taking her around family or going on, you know, family engagements or, 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 or if you're going out of town, you take her with you. Now you start doing things like that, you know what I'm saying? But still, you're letting the process play out because you're also taking three other ones. You also got two or three other ones that you got close with like that. You let the process play out over time. And this is what they mean by maximizing. I'm going to read the definition from the psychologist again. They say maximizers are men and women who take time to seek out the optimal solution in every choice in life the optimal meaning you don't just settle and say they are likely to to wait for the best that they can get before they settle they're not going to settle i did not settle and i had to make this clear with like a lot of people try to hate on my wife and you know talking about oh man she must have had low self-esteem of being a polygynous relationship no it wasn't none of that bro it just wasn't none of that it, that just wasn't what it was you know what i'm saying she's not here because she had low self-esteem she's here 
because she had the highest of self-esteem. She's here because she was the best of all of them. She's here because she was more woman than all of them. She's here because she had more femininity than all of them. She was more girly than all of them. She was more mature than all of them. She is the best out of the ones that I had here. And that's the one I ended up with permanently. She was the best. I didn't settle. I played it out. I let the process play out and I ended up with the best. Now, unfortunately, if you do this according to the way you're taught to do it, wait until you're out of college and wait until you got your job and career already gone, you're 33 years old and you try this process, it is not going to work. The process won't play out until you're about 41, 42, 43 years old. It is not going to work for you. You have to start this process young. If you're already old, you still got to let the process play out. I mean, it, it is what it is. Everything in life has a process. It, it, the process still got to play itself out because if you jump into marriage too soon, you're going to jump in it with the wrong person. And that's what they call other people. The satisfiers. Now, this is also what it says. So if you're one of these people that just looking for the comforts, right? Uh, uh, what's familiar, you know, traditional marriage, you know, familiar, you know what I'm saying? Then you're going to, you know, I want a guy that got a college degree, a job. And see, that's the familiar. If you're looking for the comfortable and the familiar under tradition and social norms and all this stuff, then you're going to be with people quickly and they're going to they're dissipate quickly. But if you let the process play out, you're going to end up with the best. And not only that, you're going to end up with a woman that you actually like. You're going to end up with a woman that you like the way she actually looks. You like the way she actually is. And I'm not talking about love. I'm talking about like. You know, a woman that you actually like. You have a lot of couples that be together that can't stand each other. You know, there's a degree of love there, but they don't like each other at all. You know what I'm saying? You could love your sister and not like her. You could love your brother. You could love your mama and not like her. You know what I'm saying? So there's a difference between love and like. When you let the process play out, you end up with a woman that you like. Woman that you actually like the way she looks. Woman that you respect. So she want to express her femininity. This is why the article is talking about hot wives. Now, now that's what the article ends up talking about, the hot wives. You know that men who marry attractive women tend to stay married longer and have much happier relationships. Which is a no-brainer. Because you got a woman that you like looking at. And not only that, she sees you looking at her. She gets constant attention from you. You like the way she looks, she likes the way you look at her. So you don't mind her putting on something sexy to go out that night because you want to see her in something sexy and you ain't tripping on how many other dudes see it. You ain't tripping on that. You want to look at your girl in that dress and be like, mm, mm, mm. All them jeans and be like, mm, mm, mm. You want to look at her like that. You won't care how many other men see that. You don't give a care about how many other men look at it and be like, oh man. I, I hope she go to the bathroom or something so I can try to creep over. You ain't worrying about that. Your wife ain't going nowhere, man. You know what I'm saying? You got that on click clack, bro. You ain't worrying about that. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, the men that marry attractive women do have happier marriages and they do stay married longer. But you dudes will understand it because what y'all looking for is, is, is a woman that you feel comfortable with. A woman that you feel secure with. One that you believe is not going anywhere. One that you believe uh, no man is going to try to take from you. That's what y'all want. And to ensure that you want to lock her inside and make sure she stays pregnant. You, you can't do that, man. Let the process play out. Let everything play out. Let everything go the way it's supposed to go. And, and you know, you're going to end up with the best woman for you. Trust me on that. Trust me on it. The process never fails. You're going to end up with the best woman for you. You know what I'm saying? But it, it's a process. It is at least a five-year process. At least. At least. You got to figure out what you like. What kind of femininity you want around you. What kind of girly you want around you. That's your job. Your job is not to try to change her into something that's comfortable for you because now you're being a satisfier. You don't want to be a satisfier. You want to be a maximizer maximize your potential 
let the process play out, you get the best one for you. Sit back and chill and let the thing play out over time. That way you'll end up with the best woman that you could possibly end up with and you wanna stay married. Trust me, I mean, we and I, we, we, we about to approach 27 years, man. You are gonna be married. No, you are gonna be married. This woman was with me eight years in the polygynous family. Eight. And now we almost, almost been just together one-on-one -on -one for 20 more. Eight years the process played out. Eight. And I ended up with her. I know what I'm talking about, bro. I know what I'm talking about. I don't know how you do so angry with me, so bitter. I don't know what I said triggers y'all so fast, man. Y'all so emotional, man, man bro. Y'all gotta stop being that way, man. Anyway, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, I'm out of here. I'm Brother Kush, AKA the Black Alpha. Salam. And again, let the process play out.